So a lot of people ask me, you know, what makes a great quality management system? And I'll tell you there are five things, really. Uh, the first is you really have to have a good, solid document management system. So when you're in the uh, pharma space, in the biotech space, you're managing SOPs, you're managing uh, work instructions, specifications, and you want people to have a good, solid control on, that, on those documents. So version control, uh, essentially audit trail, et cetera. You want to make sure that is running in a very good system. The second thing you need is a very good electronic forms management system. So you have companies that are managing uh, deviations, kappas, whether they're manufacturing for themselves, they're manufacturing for others, if they're a CMO, they need to be able to prove that they have good solid records on deviations, kappas. When they get audits that are performed on them, they need to be able to capture those observations. So you need a very good forms and workflow management system. The third thing that you need is a good set of integrations. Because you're running manufacturing systems, you have SAP, uh, in your organization. You have limb systems where you do all your inspections, your sample testing. You want to tie all those in with your SOPs and your work instructions. If you find a sample that comes in or a manufacturing batch that comes in that doesn't quite meet the specifications, you want to be able to raise a kappa. You want to be able to raise a nonconformance. You want to be able to track that to completion. If that requires a document change, you really want those systems to be one system. Uh, so you can track the kappa and the change control all the way down to a SOP or work instruction. The fourth thing that you need is a really good, easy-to-use interface. Okay? Uh, what that means is a user that comes in can quickly and easily find the information they're looking for. It's easy for them to print. It's easy for them to control who gets access to the documents and be able to search and be able to find information they need for their work. And the final piece that you need is really a single vendor. Because ultimately, you're implementing these systems. You want a single vendor to go to for support. Uh, you want a single vendor that can come in and help you integrate with your other systems. And you want to make sure that you're not running around for support for different vendors, trying to put all of these things together. But as you know, you know you're working in a highly validated, regulated environment. And having that single vendor really makes it easy to keep your costs down.